seeing these like just wholesome moments of if they believe in each other, they just gotta pick it and see what happens. And Arteezy is squeaky clean ball. So many times before they've done the brew, they've done the terror blade. Yeah. They're, they're playing that so we can trade with Hector. On K1, we should say, of course. Of course, on this at this top lane, then for for Arteezy trying to lane against the, the Snap Mars duo that Beast Coast are putting against him. I mean. It, is he going to be fine up here, or is there potential for kills to be found by Beast Coast? I mean, from what we've seen, these fans are able to secure lanes pretty nicely, but it looks Ooh, like they're yeah, good like set up fine. here. They will indeed. First blood for Beast Coast. Down bottom, K1 able to rely on Stinger to continue to bring in the, the regen whilst he's working his way towards that six. Second set of tangos here picked up. up. They get the angle. He to follow up. It's another kill. East Coast combo here proving to be very strong and as well up here too and they might even go for Arteezy top they do uh, he's on his own now underneath the tower see if they can do this here but fly back in action and TP at the ready he'll manage to turn up and make sure that the dive cannot continue but really feel it already Beast Coast finding these these great chances to just oh. get under that what tower and aggressive right cooking as well under to whisper to close the gap but the stick charges will keep fly fine these guys will have to reset a little bit. They're starting to fall low on the two of them. But the rotation's coming in. Look how low these heroes on our EG are. I mean, yeah, Fly Nazis, you have to be careful. Here we go, Chris. He's looking for Fly. He saw him. He'll be able to catch him with the Avalanche. He can. Fly's not going to be able to run away from this one. He'll pop the war cry. But a final blast from Kajira. Gets another. I mean, in the rune. Uh, he's going to be able to. Oh, with the Redman. Oh, he's in and he's out. The Beast Coast in this landing stage, no doubt about it. So they're, they're dealing very well with the pressure and the setup that EG set up against them. And now, with this movement from Kajira, they might find a chance to, to make a kill onto Nightfall. And with the pounce, the blast to follow up into the cookie. And indeed, the spider's gone. Beast Coast. Back. Look as well to follow things up. It might be oh so close. Almost gets the frostbite on top of it. Same time up top. CEG now make a move on towards Mars. Look to, to threaten Whisper. He'll be able to spear back RTZ, but flying crit able to finish him off. As EG finally looking very good with their presence. And Nightfall, now the pressure is gonna start on the bottom lane. So let's see what Beast Coast does to react versus this spider. As we mentioned earlier, their trap does have a ton of ways to clear them out. They'll try for the catch onto K1. Will scare him enough to pop the Shadow Dance immediately in return to the Bushwhack coming in from Crip. Top lane, Arena was dropped it. Looks like they made an attempt, but uh, weren't quite able to pull it off this time. Arteezy remains safe. Won't be able to continue to farm underneath the, the Tier 1 top, and underneath the Tier 1 bottom. And trying to dive in past the tower. They know that K1's got no ultimates. Already used the Shadow Dance. Further TP's coming oh, in. Try and pass away, but Crit able to time it perfectly with the Bushwhack. Pulls him back. They take down K1. Lose fly and return. We'll see if the rest of EG can get out. In fact, they might not want to get out because backups arrived. Arbed, he's also ready to die. I think he's the tier one tab, but indeed he's hit the sick. They turn with a stun. Kajira, they just able to turn with the kisses. Take down oh, Arbed, take down Crit. It started off as a, a smooth that opening stun. Easily able to find time to get the follow up spear. It just locked down Arbed for the whole ult that was coming in. And the crazy the thing is, too, look at the tower HP in that bottom safe lane. After we see the Ember perhaps getting gone on a little bit. We'll see if they can get oh. it. They might. They've got they that. might be able to. Again, the three stuns oh. are there. Arbed, a couple of lane. Near 12 minutes. That dive not working out at all. See around the mid. Chris ready to set up more. Gets the toss back. Onto Fly, and of course, back up, it's there. It always is always. here for Beast Coast. The three of them take down another. Fly falls. We'll see RTZ turning up to the mid. This is quite an aggressive fight uh -oh. for the Terrapers to coming. be involved in. I don't know if RTZ wants to be uh -oh. The arena's there. And what the, the, what's going on? Oh, oh man. From Arbed, dying two times. Kill onto a core, but Beast Coast, they're too fast around the map. EG's got to give more respect to these movements. Absolutely. This is devastating. Look at Nightfall even too, maybe. And we've just seen it happen to Arbed. We've just seen it happen to Arteezy. And we've just seen it happen to Nightfall. EG losing course. It's coming up so early. Even rougher, I think, in this early game. Absolutely. K1 even looking to top. Won't be able to do too much on his own. Just steal some Agi. But he's got the Diffusal Blade finished up. So that's also another scare. The fact that Beast Coast can even start involving the Slark in every single one of these fights. Arteezy can't come back to show up for quite some time. We had a quick pick on to, to Sting. Farming for most of the game, it's gonna be a lot harder now with Whisper having this type of start. Blink at 13 minutes in your offlaner. Quick setup in the mid. Chris. Oh boy. Arbed will be fine. He's got remnants to play with, but oh, taking a heavy bit of damage. Make sure that Arbed doesn't get a hold of that. They have to blink on Chris as well, too. And the rune. And it's coming bottom. Arbed able to grab it inside. Chris is out of mana. 
They're trying to chase. Kind of hard to chase though between these two. Yeah, further TPs are coming in. He'll, he'll latch on with the Searing Chains, but Abed knows that he's got to be Abed. careful. Whisper turns up. Abed might still be in trouble. I mean, he is indeed. The remnant it was laid down in a, a bit of an awkward spot. They did not have the damage at all to try to go for the tongue. He had the Sven yeah. and the Ember, no Flame Guard. That was... And the kills, they're just going to keep rolling in, by the way. Oh, Beast Coast, man. they find Fly out. It feels like it's going to have to be like when the pipe comes out for Nightfall, which he does have now, so let's see what they can do. With they're going to try and get something going here off the back of a smoke. Feels difficult still. For Chris here around the mid. TPs are going to come in. Oh, shit, they can take down the Tiny. Steer on the side, able to lay down the O. EG there attempting to reach it to take down Chris, but Chris, he's out and he's alive. He's going to be fine. K1, Artizzi. Tiny in the front of Vice, he's in with the pounce on top of Artizzi. Avalanche as well onto the forward to Artizzi. Will be able to get the sun drop on to fly. Artizzi back up to full HP. Arbed out of the fight. The arena's down. So oh. will miss. So they won't be able to hold Artizzi in position. Artizzi's going to be fine. For now, now turns towards K1, pounce back of the ready. Chris, he's in with a jump though. They've got the call by the four of Kisses. RTZ melting to the deck with the snap by Kajira. Takes him down. It's Arbed, is there more for him to find? He's going to try and keep the fight going, Arbed. Jumps over towards Chris. Chains and the further remnants, but the Avalanche is back up. Chris will still die. They're going to kill and return EG. Anything more for them to find? I mean, K1, Stinger, and Kajira, they're ready to continue this fight as well. Here, four versus four. They want to keep the action going. They get the bushwhack set up. On to Stinger, stun into the angle of crit salt. EG find another. Ooh. I mean, I mean, it looked almost kind of disastrous at the start, but I think the sleight of fist actually canceled Whisper's blink dagger, and then he had like a little bit of an awkward jump with his uh, ult and spear. That's why they ended up missing. So he's still going to keep going for these plays too. Yeah, EG, they quick little dodge at the beginning, meaning that the full lockdown couldn't quite be there from Beast Coast. Arbeb will be fine. I mean, Kajira's going to go with the kiss. Ooh. Whisper tried the arena, but won't manage to get the catch. This time, EG able to dodge the combo. Still to the side, though. Fly will be finished off. EG, they try and attempt Arbeb. to fight with the arena being missed. Arbeb Remnant at the ready will be able to dodge out of the range of the Crystal Maiden Ultimate. EG, they'll keep that distance for now. It's easy. Looking for an opportunity to step back in on this, but Beast Coast, they're out with down towards the bottom. Maybe seeing if they could catch out whoever turned up to clean up this bottom lane. It is Arbed. I have the spear just yet. They definitely have enough damage to control. The max frostbite Arbed, is at the ready. Yeah. If Arbed shows again, that could be Beast Coast. Keeps it going. Here we have it. Chris is in. Have a large toss. Spearback TPs are coming in, but it's not going to be soon enough to save him. Arbed taken out by the combo once again for the day in the series that EG played right both games. They're able to get their hands on this SF that they've been winning through the group stages throughout. And it was clearly something that Thunder Away could have planned for. You've yep. got to ask yourself, you know, with the Brood being let through this game, it's probably well, something that Beast Coast had a, a pretty good idea of how to deal with. And so far, it looks pretty good. Ooh, top lane. Whisper and Chris. They turned on. He's just so farmed on this Mars. 209 last hits. Smoke up from EG. They want to try and take this fight. Already the Whispers in. He's able to get the combo there. The two-man spear onto RTZ. The Avalanche four. Oh, my. It's RTZ and Crick caught out by Whisper. EG, wow. is there anything they can find in return? They're trying to go for Stinger. They will be able to take out the CM. K1 on the back lines. He's gone straight for Fly. And it was Spear pushing back Arbed and Nightfall. Arbed did have a remnant of the ready to get out, but Fly won't escape. Neither will Nightfall. And Avalanche from Chris puts a stop to his DP out. As four dead. For both of the cores, the Ember probably needs one too, but the problem is that they're playing into the double BKB already. Actually, the triple BKB that's going to be coming out from the cores of East Coast. So it's... It's just not an easy thing to do at all. It feels Crit. good to be this good. Chase down by... To push towards another tier two. Again, attempting to force EG back into a defensive position. I think we're going to see Beast Ghost start to be very, like, much more I mean, Stinger. in a few moments. Stinger. Trying to go for him here. He's able to put the Ghost Step to get a bit of the ultimate off. But easy will manage to put the BKB in with the meta. They're able to take down Stinger. He has to run, though. With the BKB, he just has to book it. A meta BKB to run. That says everything about the current game state. A whisper now, godlike on the, on the Aegis. He can start to tease around with EG right underneath their tier fours. Look how spooked they are. He forces the Wraith Pack. But that's how scared Nightfall is, even though he's at his tier three. And we mentioned earlier, of course, that Wraith Pack is going to get cleared every fight from the Little Shredder. A setup on a Chris. Good full stuff there to get Chris out of the combo. Wait for the Sharpshooter. Early Kiss is being thrown. Bit of a whiff. Chris is falling a little low. He's holding on to the BKB. And I bet he's thinking about committing towards some Chris there, but jump forward. In fact, it's K1 that's going to be the one jumping on him. And now he's going to follow. They'll be able to keep him locked down. Oh, he didn't jump. 
He got. He continued fighting inside. The pounce waited and waited. Didn't want to jump away. Didn't yeah, expect whisper. Of course, but just before this fight, just so close to the BKB on the Ember, about a couple of hundred gold. He was away, Arbed, but didn't have it for this fight. And now beyond the racks, Beast Ghost. They're ready to just continue diving in. Yeah. Artizi's tipping over, but he's oh low on mana. He has his BKB to walk. He away. has. He's oh, tipping in. It's a BKB and a move back to the base. So he'll heal up. But even when he's done, he was able to finish his next time. He's picked up the Silver Edge. All right. I mean, we'll see what it's going to be able to do. Do they even have the damage to go through any of these cores? Will they kill any of them? I mean, the question. Mean, we've been talking about Gajira. He's been quite the problem. So getting rid of him at the start of the fight, okay. not a bad move here for IEG. See if they can get more. Beast Coach very quick to drop down the arena. Now K1 is able to jump over towards Arbet. Arbet has got the BKB done for this fight, but there is a cost to bash on K1. So Arbet's got to be careful how close he keeps the slot. K1 turns over towards Nightfall. Nightfall able to get down to the low ground. Whisper will deal with the lie. A God's rebuke to take him down. K1 jumps forward. He's looking to hunt down the spider. Nightfall attempting to juke around the trees. A buyback comes out from Fly. EG. Another BKB for Chris is about to come to an end. RTZ attempting to close the gap on him. They want to get one of these cores so bad. I mean, Chris is getting pretty low. Town with the avalanche, but RTZ yes. is able to finish him off. Stinger as well looks to be in trouble. Pops the Ghost Scepter. They'll block him up. RTZ will claim another double kill for RTZ. The timing here with the, the okay. smoke themselves. They'll, they'll try and get over See what towards they can do. this area, knowing that... Potential is there for Roshan to be back up. So many eyes early on Arteezy. If he can actually just stay alive in yep. the fights, he does, got him. He, he does a to. fair bit of damage. He's crippled the jump. I mean, it's not a bad jump again. They found Gajira to start the fight. They're in onto the snap fight and taking him down. K1 turns over towards Crit. Crit trying to get away, but the pounce is in. Whisper goes in with the arena, but the BKBs are out from EG. We see Arbet look to chase down Stinger. Stinger will die before the TP is successful. The BKBs from both sides are about to come to an end. He's able to continue on further. I mean, but now the BKBs, I mean, it looks to be they're EG. They're themselves now. See, having the meta still going, they, they feel the stronger around the pit. They were able to eliminate the two supports. Whisper still has another round of ult. He's gonna refresh. He does get seen. The illusion's on him. Chris is in with the jump. Three-man avalanche. There's the arena. We'll be able to lock down Arbet with the spear. They're taking out the ember. Arbet does have a buyback available if he wants to commit towards this Roshan fight. And Nightfall trying to escape the arena, but he's trapped in. Take down by the God's Rebuke. Whisper, Whisper dies in return. He'll immediately buy back to get over towards the Roshan once again. But Roshan Hello. is falling fast. It's EG Chris. He's in with the jump. RTZ is pretty low. The toss goes down. The line of the spear. RTZ goes down. As EG, they attempted to finish off the Roshan, but they didn't respect the buyback there from Whisper and the ability for Beast Coast to jump into the pit once more. So many ways, as we mentioned from earlier, it's just tons of ways for them to jump in and out of these fights. as K1. What a pounce. Gets the nightfall up top lane. So they're trying to find somebody bottom side. And look who it is again. Eyes. There's Gojira, he's able to get the four stuff off in time to break away from the bushwhack, but still RTZ chases him out. A further force and a jump with the cookie will dodge the sharpshooter, so Gojira this time will live. And now EG's got to run. And they certainly have it, the snap fires alive. Things are probably going to go rather bad for EG. As Fly goes down, RTZ holding onto his BKB for now. They know where he is though. Whisper, he gets the spear. Oh, BKB is there from RTZ and the immediate response is the bashes are there from K1 though. RTZ needs help, but he needs it now. He's in the trouble. Is there. The silence is well. They're ready to go for more. Arbed able to BKB TP out. But EG, Whisper. they've got to try and hold here with just the three of them against the full five-man push from Beast Coast. No art easy for nearly a minute. This is fight that they tried to get a catch onto the snap and they were fully surrounded. The, the two times they managed to come out top was when they've been able to catch Gojira. Outside that, they couldn't. And indeed, they'll tap out. There's no coming back from this position. GG is called Beast Coast here in game one. Looking as... Hello, 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 hello. He has decided to join us, and we will bring our energy together like a bold spirit bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, bold boys for Artesi. Bold boys for Artesi. Bold boys for Artesi. Bold boys for Artesi. pick then coming out from Beast Coast is going to be that Brewmaster uh, and you know don't worry. Tournament, it really feels like in terms of heroes I mean he's what, what makes this trouble. so good right now he, he's still got a mango and a, a stun back in seven seconds. I mean, he Might be a little dead. Like, maybe he can get the deny. No. Won't be able to do so so Crit will manage to chase him down and get that first blood. Level five. Won't be able to get Gajira here. A frostbite. And with both spells on cooldown, has the fairy fire, but another leaps there from Crit. He'll get and take the kill. Chris able to find flight in return back in the river. Let's get a trade for it. Abed with the DD. 
Very strong rune on the Ember Spirit early on here with the Max. Carapace is really annoying. It, it is very. So. Very much. Bottom Nightfall. I'm going to drop the roll straight away to give him a chance to run. Uh oh. And Whisper. Primal splits to the ready and already a bit of a body block coming in with K1 and the Micro of his illusions. Leaves no escape for Nightfall. So. Raw expended, wasn't able to get out alive. At the same time, at another entry point of the jungle, they find crit hovering around the stairs. So, of, of the cause in terms of net worth, but if anything from his previous performances are to go by, you, you know the whisper's going to be catching up. Very, very shows himself. He's quite durable. Though. The split still on cooldown. TP reactions coming in. See if BG can get the kill quick enough. They're struggling to kill him as, as sort of the pace that they would hope for. RTZ continues to push on, will get him. They lose crit in return. We'll see if RTZ can get out of this. He has the infest, is able to jump into our bed, and our bed with a remnant at the ready will be able to be able to get a stinger here. Fly. He's got it. Quick frostbite, and the setup's there for Arteezy to pick up a nice bit of bonus gold. Gets I, the kill. I mean, look at his positioning there. A little a little aggressive there from Stinger. I mean, he's, he's been sort of living life oh. up on this top area of the map for quite some time. The arrow, oh, that's oh. swiftly done there. Arrow is already coming in, and Arbet able to make sure that Chris is held in position. So Beast Coast, they'll have to make a move soon if they want to try and stop this. They do have the song in a second, and Naga's not. It's already gone. Arbet able to get the kill, get the Aegis. So see Beast Coast now popping the ultimates, Whisper leading him with the primal split, but EG, they themselves have split at, up. Look at Crit. <laughs> oh, now they're gonna see him now. Moonlight comes to an end, so Crit will die. Oh, and also they catch fly, it looks like. Oh, Arbet's also gotta be a bit cautious. He has the remnant, they're ready to dodge the split up. But indeed the two supports have to be in trouble. Fly's gonna do a fair bit of damage to Whisper with the ultimate, but he will still slowly die. Back up towards the mid, actually Kajiri's able to get the stun out of the two of them, but Nightfall, Brian, has the roll ready, turns towards Kajira to take out the Nyx Assassin, and now Arteez, he's ready to chase down more, gets a double, takes out Stinger, as EG might be able to keep this fight going, chains there from Arbet, but he's starting to lose his mana. Chris turns, looks for the stun, but nice sidestep there from Arbet, Arbet still ticking down very low, that's the Aegis gone. As he's down the ones, they've got to be careful about this Lesh, Chris charging through the middle of the fight, so to burn down Nightfall. So they can kite him out and control him further. TPs are coming in. They're surrounding the Lestrak, but they're being careful how they commit for this. They know that Chris is very, very strong here on the Lesh. And EG, it won't be out to the these fights as we've seen. And he's not easy for Beast Coast to deal with. No, absolutely not. Chris, we've got the arrow on him. is ready to back him up. Turns with the stun. We'll hold back Crit with that stun. And now Chris turns, heals over the Bloodstone. That's the split up onto Fly. Crit tries to leap away. Still ends up dying to the DPS. You know, he could maybe get away with quite a lot in this game. They want to try and go for him, take him down here with the chains into the arrow. They'll sadly do so. Great chain stun. Solid catch. Still difficult. See how they start it off around the board. Light. Nice stinger. Off the frostbite, they'll go for the roar on Stinger. Nightfall commits it with the BKP. They want to kill off the Chen. They'll do so very quickly. See if they can chase for more. They look towards K1. It's back up to the safety of his own high ground. And looks like EG, they'll just manage to get the one kill for now. With that. Whisper does pop the split. He's going to try and set up for some kills here around them. It will get fly. Yeah, I think he's like, they're just avoiding us constantly. The next fight. Still with nearly three minutes on the Aegis. It's not, it's not easy for EG to jump anyone outside of the supports. Fly will start to... Try to start things here, and they will follow up onto Stinger. They'll get the roar off as well. Okay, they'll get the two supports. Pretty good grabs. See if they can do anything. Don't have another glyph after this. Now the push continuing. Not easy. He's going to try and get in on the fight. Steps up towards K1. Nightfall, he has the roar. He's got the song off. Get the arrow as well. Rage into the BKB. So a long time here that RTZ is going to be able to continue to be in onto the Naga. Sorry, but it's still just not enough damage. He's only down to pretty much half health here. K1, as he backs Chris away, they'll down. kill Chris. That's the Aegis gone. A quick infest here from RTZ as he arrow. looks to stay alive. They'll get the opening stun onto Chris. Out to the side, though. Arbet's been held up by the split up. K1, RTZ chase him outside of the base. K1's getting low. Side to try to separate K1 from the life steal, and he'll be able to do so. K1's fine for now. As RTZ also falls back up to the high ground of his own base. Oh, it oh, connects. Nice little arrow there onto Stinger. So once again, EG. Wow. Getting... And they're looking to get aggressive. They're actually looking for more. Let's see what they can make a quick jump towards. And with the remnant, Arbed. Quickly sweeping the map. He's managed to get his way over towards Chris. He's got Lotus there. Underneath the, the tier two arrow, he's going to hit. Crit gets the angle. As Chris going down, EG, they'll definitely want to try and continue to fight off from Kajira turns with the sun onto the two of them, indeed. Over towards the mid lane, they have the Royal set up onto K1. No further damage output for now, though, as K1's got the backup of Stinger. Nothing to stop the CM ult, we'll clear out all those illusions. TP over from Whisper. EG, now looking to bail. 
Another net. Catch on to a fly. So they want to try and tackle K1. I mean, RTC is going to go for the squishies first. Go straight for Stinger. Takes down a second support. See if they can get K1. East Coast. Very much for sort of the first time this game where Beast Coast. Always pretty valuable versus Lesh. So, yeah, we'll see which one it's going to be. Look at this. I bet he's actually got his shard to pass too. Again. He's, he keeps a remnant there, goes back, is starting to clean up the counter push. We'll get a bit it's of setup. The area. Onto Arteezy, he'll be thrown into the air by Whisper. Arteezy popping the rage, he's going to try and get on top of K1. Look at the illusions now, turns now over towards Chris. The rage finishing, Arteezy's got to be careful, gets caught by the split up. We'll be able to force him back to safety and fest into fly, he's fine for now. He's gone, Arteezy trying to go for round two, but as soon as no, he no, comes no, out, he fest, they catch up with the opening stun. Will manage to get the BKB off, and with that BKB duration, stays on top of Stinger. Arteezy now godlike, and he's ready for more, turns towards Kajira, rage at the ready, so after the BKB comes to an end, Arteezy can continue to push on. In fact, no, he's going to opt to use the rest of the rage to Ooh. TP out. If he gets bashed, I don't even think K1 actually got the hit on him there, but that was close. They move immediately to punish that. So we're looking to get around the mid now. Ooh. Might be able to get Gojira too. But K1 is around, and the man is going on off that. K1 turns, has the root, has the, the bash as well, holding him in position. As he steps across, there's no saving off that. Now, I mean, this defusal is it. K1 also about to finish up a Bloodthorn. I mean, he's hitting critical mass soon. Maybe that's also why he's probably like, I'm going to buy an Aghanim soon, perhaps. That, that is the thing, and right? You, in terms of these two heroes, who's going to get the money quicker yeah, for their own Ags? It's going to be the Nagasar, and if the game continues on for longer, that's mid lane. K1. All, all three lanes are getting sieged. And they, what do you do if you're EG? You've got to do something. They're going to try. Nightfall. He's looking for a raw target. Turns towards Chris. Lotus is up. Has to be careful as he holds back on it for now. Arteez is in with the bashes. They're bringing Chris down pretty quickly. That'll be him down the ones. Arbet jumps in. He's going to get caught out by the spike characters, but at the same time, just does, does get yelled into the air. Arteez is focusing down the Nagasara, and K1's going to lose. going to get forced to the side. He's going to get the soft bar. He's, he's got the BKB up, able to charge him with a remnant. Take down K1. Look at he's ready for more. Let's have towards Kajira inside the base. Arteez, he'll die. Chris just charging into the disco party. Pony just destroying the ball. Holy crap. And then, Chris just killed him. He's a, a hell of a lot short on the gold here. 1,500 gold. He does not have here to get back in on the action. He is it done. They're, they're going to try and hold with the three of them. And indeed, Chris is ready to chase it back up towards the fountain. Oh Runs down up. Nightfall, and he's not done yet. He's full HP, and he's got plenty of mana to play with. The buyback comes out from Arbed. As EG, they scramble back towards the fountain. They've got to try and hold and keep their cool here for 50 seconds now without RTZ. They're going to get mega and there's still the cheese as well on Chris. Oh my god, dude, the damage that he did. They focused fire K1, but they ignored the Lesh for a bit. I Look mean, at this 12,800 damage. This is at least going to be the Mega Creeps here. Can they really slow down Beast Coast for this 30 seconds? I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can. 30 seconds seems like a big window. This Edict is about to come back up. It's got the 25 talent too. The first tier four falls. The second shortly to come. It's going The edge is exposed. As Beast Coast, they're looking to close it up. EG, they'll go for one final attempt to holding back Beast Coast. But they're just focusing the ancient. EG, there's nothing GG. to be done. GG is called. Beast Coast will be moving on. And this is the end of the road for Evil Geniuses this year. Oh my, South America. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any thoughts and ideas, please leave comments below. We are grateful for your support. Thank you.